movie. I loved, love, love the film, Cooper. I'm like obsessed with your vision and your your work right now. And it's crazy to me, like you, how old you are. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the process of getting your first feature off the ground and connecting with producer Jay Duplass and what the upcoming uh, VOD premiere means to you. Um, I made a movie my, uh, the spring break of my sophomore year of college with some friends. And then we put that on YouTube and then I tweeted the link to Jay Duplass and the movie was made with like three people. We were booming and scenes that we were acting in and it looked really bad because the person who was filming it had never held a camera before, <laughs> but it had the, uh, certain parts of what made it into shit house. And I think Jay related to the story. And so from there, we got lunch and then we kind of talked about making it into an actual feature with more than three people. And, uh, and now it's premiering next week and it's uh, super awesome. And I feel super <laughs> lucky and grateful that people are gonna see it. Um, I feel really lucky and grateful that I got to see it ahead of time. But um, for both Logan and Dylan, I wanted to discuss what drew you guys to the respective film? I think Shithouse really captures a unique moment that most people experience in time of their lives. And so I wanted to speak about your guys' personal attachment to the roles. Um, I just thought it was well-written and that's kind of the end of my criteria of like, I'll be part of something, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, you know, uh, but I also like understood who this person was and thought I thought I could do something with it uh, and thought it would be fun to try it, at it. Yeah, and for me, it was like, um, you know, Dylan had contacted me through Instagram about the project. And, um, you know, once I had spoken to Cooper and saw who was involved and that the Duplasses were, you know, producing it and stuff, I immediately wanted to uh, join in. And um, any chance that I can get to be a belligerent drunk on <laughs> a screen, I'll take. And um, so, you know, and especially when I get to uh, shit my pants as well. <laughs> I, uh, I, I love any chance I can do to make myself look like a complete idiot on screen. So um, yeah, I felt very drawn to that. Well, you take the, you take the title quite literally, which is good. Um, <laughs> and Dylan, I wanted to dive in a little bit about your character because I think, Coop, like you said, it was extremely well written, but the film to where a normal movie would probably end with this magical evening, you actually get to see the aftermath and what the reality of some like whimsical college night would actually look like. So being this kind of complex female lead in it, how did you and Cooper really work together to make sure that your character is really kind of well-rounded? Well, I think that's just like in the, on the page, you know, <laughs> I think that that's what the whole movie is about is, is two people's perspectives on how one thing goes. And um, you look so familiar to me. Me? Yeah. I have no idea. I live in New York. Went to um, Tish. I, would have I don't know if we overlap at all, all somewhere, but... Uh, I'm so maybe. sorry. We went to summer camp together. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> um, totally yeah, fine. I mean, that's just all on the page, luckily. I mean, that's what the whole movie is about. So um, it was easy. That, that was the easy part. Um, moving from your really well reception at South by and then kind of being taken under the wing of like IndieWire and a lot of other uh, publications that really kind of herald this movie as being the new Richard Linklater-esque um, influence to speaking to this upcoming generation. How has that kind of impacted any of your guys' respective uh, careers or your year of 2020 too? Uh, well, I, I mean, I didn't have any kind of career and I just still don't <laughs> so I it's been so awesome uh hearing that anybody likes the movie and for like IndieWire especially to like the review David Ehrlich wrote was the first time I'd ever seen anybody talk about uh shithouse at all like outside of my family members and so that was just like such an incredible day to uh just felt like it was the movie after that day, I just felt so safe and comfortable with the movie going out into the world and just like being seen by people outside of my family members because, um, yeah, it's just been so, so nice. It was a great light at the end of the tunnel kind of right now. I mean, you know, as things have kind of 
uh, breach to a halt. Um, it's nice to kind of have this in the back, knowing of like something great that we created and that it's gonna get out there for everybody to uh, kind of witness. And uh, seeing the reception is just, um, yeah, you know, you, you're just, you can only just be proud of the work. And Dylan, similar or? I mean, like Logan said it all. <laughs> um, I do want to speak a little bit about what's next for you guys and your respective kind of endeavors heading into 2021. We've got Escape Room 2 coming out. Um, you know, thankfully we were like able to get that done right before COVID hit. Um, we're still doing, we're still trying to figure out reshoots. So I feel like um, that'll probably come out maybe in the middle or end of next year. But um, yeah, as far as that, it's like, um, you know, I'm trying to work on some personal projects and, um, you know, hopefully something sticks and we can uh, get back to the way things were. It's probably the goal for most people and Dylan and Cooper as well. Um, I'm working on some stuff that I, it hasn't been announced or anything, but is happening. Um, and then some stuff that I would like to happen that probably never will. And then I'm going to go to grad school. And she has a podcast called Lecture Hall that just came out. That's like true. just, that's really <laughs> funny. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't, there's definitely nothing that I'm going to be in or do that's going to come out in 2021 for sure. So I got, I got, I got nothing. You can't keep putting yourself down. You're literally a South by Southwest grand jury narrative winner. So like, it's going to be coming in soon. IFC, you got it. You got it all in the palm of your hand, but that is <laughs> it. That is it for me. Thank you guys so much. Um, congratulations. This is, a, this is amazing. Your day. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.